That's a really great question because it's a really hard one. We look at it in two veins. One is the supply chain, particularly for software, and the second is trust, and who and what you trust. So let's talk about the supply chain for software, Wyatt. So on that side, any software that you're using, it's wise that you require the software provider to tell you, to give you the output of their own QA processes. How have they checked the software? And then what is their software development lifecycle approach? How do they look for vulnerabilities? How do they address them once they find them? What are their third-party software reliances? Sometimes we find ourselves, you know, with many of the new open source frameworks, folks are using that software without necessarily telling entities. So further down that supply chain, organizations may not necessarily fully understand the risks of what is within the code that they purchase. So really understanding those three components of any software that you're purchasing helps manage that risk. You know, what we've discovered is that organizations that have a bug bounty program usually have done some of the internal work to feel confident that they've identified the easiest found bugs. That's another way to give a quick check with regard to a software provider and how their supply chain looks. From a trust perspective, really understanding where your core data that you most rely on is and then minimizing the trust you give to what's really needed to complete a mission. We've seen those trust relationships or trust access being leveraged by adversaries to gain access through some third party relationships that, or access or remote management that enterprises didn't even know existed. So by really understanding where those trust access is and minimize it and monitor it to what exactly is needed, you'll be ensure that you're mitigating that risk.